Good morning and welcome to a special edition of Jet Experience that I do occasionally where I capture a little bit of uh, my work stuff. Today, as you can see behind me and how I'm dressed, uh, it's another flight today. Something um, kind of routine. Uh, this helicopter behind me is close to um, uh, what they call phase maintenance. It's just a routine maintenance uh, that happens every so many hours on the helicopter. Uh, so we, we have to fly it from Southern California to uh, Arizona to the Tucson area and drop it off. Uh, and then, you know, the, it'll take, you know, however long it takes them to go through all the maintenance. And then we'll go back and pick it up. It probably won't be me though. We've got one stop on the way, which is gonna be in Yuma. I've never been there before, so that's exciting. Um, either flying or driving there. And uh, as you could probably see behind me, it's a little bit of not really bad weather. Uh, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, um, but there are some clouds. So we'll be flying instruments or IFR a little bit of the way. And then uh, when it clears up, then I'll uh, do what's called canceling IFR and then go VFR the rest of the way, um, kind of over the desert areas, uh, avoiding all the restricted areas where like Blue Angels, uh, you know, fly and, and other activities in the California and Arizona deserts. So we'll hopefully, hopefully I'm gonna get a little footage of the helicopter outside uh, from a secondary camera. And then once we drop off the helicopter, we actually have a private army airplane to fly us back to Southern California. Uh, so I'll try to get a little bit of that as well. So join us on this experience. <music> So I made it to Yuma, uh, got their tower right behind me. Uh, we actually parked very, very close to it at, um, they only have, it looked like one kind of civilian FBO fixed base operator here called Millionaire. It's a chain, it's gonna get loud. Oh, let's see if I can get it. Oh, where is he, where is he? I can't tell if it picked him up or not. One of the unique things about Yuma, like a couple airports across the country, is it's a fully, joint use air base. Um, it's a uh, Yuma Marine, Car uh, Marine Corps Air Station, and then it's also a civilian airport. Um, so they have a full mix of different military and civilian aircraft. So here, let me flip the camera around real quick. And uh, let's see, can't really see a whole lot, but I mean, the airfield stretch is very, very large. I believe all the military stuff is on the other side of the airport. It looks like there, there comes some construction on one of the runways. I'm trying to see if that jet is gonna circle back around. That might be him over there. I couldn't tell what it was, but that was cool how it was some sort of a fighter or, or an attack aircraft departing behind me. Uh, we're gonna fuel up here, grab a really quick bite to eat. Um, it's a quick stop because we, we have a timeline to get to the Tucson area uh, and then we'll power back up and head on out. All right, we are all done, fueled up, getting ready to climb in the helicopter, trying to get to the Tucson area in just over an hour uh, for our timeline. So I'll hop in and I'll check in again when we land.
all dropped off and we are loaded up in our airplane. It's a C-12, which is uh, just a, a version of a BE-20, a King Air, made by Beach Aircraft. Small little, you know, six-person airplane. Um, they're starting it up right now, so that way we can get airborne. Set about a two-hour flight back to SoCal, uh, so I get to see how the other half uh, lives in their, you know, private airplanes and, and jets. It's of course it's a military version, so it's not as upgraded as the civilian versions, but it should still be a, a fun little flight. Um, I'm sitting backwards, so hopefully I don't get motion sickness. All right, so we are taxiing out now, and uh, so we're at Penal. Air Park, um, where among other things, what it's kind of known for is it's what's referred to as a boneyard or an air, airplane graveyard. You can see all those planes off in the distance. Uh, the majority of them are this is like their final resting place. They're here to stay. Some might actually be parked here, um, partly due to all the the COVID downsizing of airlines, how they have to park them. I know at my airport we have. Uh, a bunch of jets that are parked there long term that they're not being used but a good majority of these are um, they're they're done with their flying life so they're kind of just kept here and then as needed they can come get um, parts if they need it um, but there's just a whole plethora of different um, airlines that are here and like if you can see all those yellow tails in the distance let me zoom um, there's a whole bunch of spirit jets here uh, and then as well right next to all those Air Canada tails those are actually 737 maxes uh, that we drove by on the way in and then just it's a sea of different tails a lot of those are 747s in the distance so they park a lot of really big airplanes here so we're just up at the runway now waiting to depart So here is one of the C-12s from the outside. Just a twin prop, turbo prop. All right, so I am back uh, at home, or not at home, but at the home airport. All done, everything's packed up, getting ready to climb in the car and drive home. Uh, so it was a nice little flight, nothing too bad. Got the, the little hop over to Yuma. Got to check out Yuma for the first time. And then another quick hop over to Pinal uh, Air Park. Uh, where again, it's a really cool sight from both the ground and the air with all the aircraft that are parked there or kind of stored there. Really cool. Yeah, you can even see it from uh, the highway when you're driving down the, from I-10. You can actually see all those aircraft from the, from the distance. So hopefully I get a chance to bring more videos like this. Uh, I really do like sharing this kind of stuff, but again, you know, I can't, I can't, you know, exactly film everything. Um, but if I start working on my civilian license uh, flying, then then I can I can film everything. I can mount cameras all over inside the aircraft. 
Uh, but I hope you liked the video. If so, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. If you ring the bell below, you get notifications to all my future videos. As always, please be kind and be real and join us on the next experience.